y'all i was gonna film the introduction to the video this i didn't fin it i didn't put the little squiggly lines on the on the watermelon like i like to do so i'm gonna do that really quick but thank you for clicking on my video and thank you for joining me today in my craft space today's video is going to be four summer signs and that was one of them they're reversible it's two signs that are reversible so it's four signs total and it's part of the hello summer playlist that's hosted by my friends both of them are friends and so it's my friend tammy from the rusted willow and ellie from diy from house to home i love both those gals i love their style i love the diys and i'm going to leave a link to their channel in the description box below as well as of course the playlist because you want inspo for summer decor and diy ideas so that's where you'll find it now let's stop talking about it and let's be about it and let's get crafting on this channel i love to share easy diys and budget home decor and if we haven't met yet, my name is Lisa and this is our gray house. I purchased this wood round from the Dollar Tree and I took some Waverly chalk paint in the color Snow White and I painted it. And then I found this wood sign on Etsy. And if I can find the link again, I'm gonna put it below, but I just enlarged it to the size that I needed and I'm tracing it out. Yes, I probably could have drawn it myself because it's a really easy shape, but it was also easy for me to just trace it. And then I'm taking some painter's tape. And if you're OCD, don't really look too hard at my lines that I'm making with that painter's tape because you'll you'll probably kind of, your eye will probably start to twitch because they're not really even. Like they're not straight across. They're a little wonky, but it, they're not too bad wonky, but just a little bit wonky, wonky enough that I noticed it. And I'm taking folk art paint in the color Adrift and I am painting in where the painter's tape is not. But I'm also being careful to paint around the shape that I traced and that's one of the things about this is you need to make sure that the painter's tape was pressed down really well and try not to push paint towards the edges of the tape you want to kind of paint away from it or next to it but you just don't you're trying to make a crisp line or at least that's what I'm trying to do and so that's that's the key to it make sure that painter's tape is pushed down really hard and you are also not like painting towards the the edge of the tape. And then you pull that tape away. And the lines are pretty crisp. I mean, there's a couple spots, but you know. I took this color, this is Pink Melon. It's the my flamingo color of choice for the season. And I'm painting in that outlined, that traced shape of the flamingo. I keep wanting to say pelican, pelican and I don't know why. But yeah, so just be careful. It, I, of course, I speed this up. I'm not going near that fast, but go around and just paint it in. Kind of like coloring, but you're painting. And then I'm taking some orange paint, but I don't know the color. I'll try to find it. And then I'm using that to paint in the top of the beak. I'm going to take some black paint, and I'm painting in the sunglasses. And I'm also going to paint in the bottom of the beak with the same color. And just be careful. There's no rush. <laughs> There's no like, oh, you finished first. You won a prize. Nothing like that. So just take your time when you're painting. And when I look back on it, I think I should have left some of the white there or went back and added a highlight because I think that would have looked cute as well. Now I'm taking a sponge dauber brush that I got from Dollar Tree and some white paint. And I'm using that to make little polka dots on this flamingo. Then I go in with a little bit smaller sponge brush thing, and I think I got those from Dollar Tree. And I'm just making a little pattern, kind of going around the bigger dots with the the thing that I'm making the little dots with. <laughs> and then I'm taking this little, and I don't know what the name of this tool is, and I apologize because I use it all the time. It's like one of my favorite things, and I don't know the name of it. And I'm just taking some white paint again, and just making like a little triangle with the dots. I cut out a decal using my Cricut. And again, I've said this before, but if you don't have a Cricut, no worries. Hand letter it, trace it on, or use stickers from the Dollar Tree or Walmart or something. You can create stuff without having to have a Cricut. I did it for years without a Cricut, but now I have one, so I use it. And this is how it turned out. Y'all, this, I mean, I just think it's so cute. And it's gonna, it looks great on my front door. I just love how the colors pop. Could I have put a bow? Yes, I could have. Did I? No, I didn't. I'm not, I, I like bows, but I'm also, I don't really like bows. I, I'm not good at making them either. 
<laughs> but let me know what you think about this one in the comments below. Another wood round from Dollar Tree. And this one, I'm going to tape off at an angle. I'm going to paint or stain the top with Waverly Wax in the color Antique. And I paint it on and I take a damp scrap piece of cloth and I wipe it off. It's really, really easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And I love the color of the, the I love this brown color. I just love it. I'm taking a piece of tape and I left a little bit of a gap. You didn't really see it there, but I left a little bit of a gap and I'm taking that pink melon color again and I'm just going to paint the lower half of the wood round. And then I'm taking that adrift color and I'm going to paint in where that gap was. I did cut out the Hello Summer decal on my Cricut and I'm going to place that on there. I love this paper transfer tape. I get it from Expressions Vinyl, but I think, I don't think they sell it in the six inch size anymore. I think it's only in the 12 inch, which is kind of a bummer, but I still have a roll left. So I think I'm good for at least a little bit. <laughs> and this is how it turned out. I love it. This one definitely needs a bow though. It, it needs something at the top, something, something at the top. Maybe I should paint the pink melon at the top or something. Y'all let me know what it's lacking. I mean, I know it, I really think it needs, this one needs a bow. You know, the word placement and stuff, this one needs a bow. Okay, let's go on to the next thing. I wanted to let you know I have a crafting group on Facebook called Crafty DIYs on a Budget, and I run that with my friend Sarah from Jujube DIY, and the link is going to be down below. I hope you join it, and I hope you share whatever you're working on, and maybe leave a positive comment for somebody else. So anyway, okay, back to the video. Another wood round, y'all. Actually, I'll let you in on a little secret. These are double-sided signs. <laughs> so... Uh, there's four signs total and I just, oh, here's me. I painted the wrong side white. And so then I end up just painting the whole thing white. But I just, I like to do double-sided signs because I just, I like to do that. So that's what I do. I'm taking some more painter's tape and I'm sectioning off a little area. And I'm taking the watermelon color this time. And I'm painting in kind of a watermelon -ish shape. But I'm leaving that little trim edge there. You see what I'm going to do next. I take two different colors of green. And it doesn't really matter. I just like to use two different colors. A lighter and a darker. And then I, um, you see me kind of like leaving a gap in between. Because I'm going to go back with the darker color and fill in the gaps. And this, I just think this is so cute how this turns out. And y'all, I did, did, look, I mean, I did not have that piece of tape on there and it was not even so I had to fix it because it would have looked just really silly if I had left it so here's me painting here's me fixing it and just double check your work note to self that's fixed and all dry and now I'm taking I've taped off two little sections to make stripes and I'm just using that darker green color right in there and then I am taking a mixture of the dark and the green color and I kind of put half and half on that sponge dauber and I'm just making some big polka dots. And then I take a little bit smaller sponge dauber brush and I add some medium sized <laughs> ones. And then I take a little bit smaller one and add some and then I, okay, so I like how it's turning out. Let me just say that. Let me preface by saying that. But now it looks like little paws. And I don't know what pause would have to do with watermelon or summer, but I mean, dog days of summer, but you know, of course my first idea was those cat paws, but anyways, so I decided to add more dots because I didn't want it looking too much like a paw, but it still looks like a paw when it's, when I'm done with it. And I cut out a decal. Oh, I added some more little dots too, but I cut out a decal using my Cricut and I just applied it in that empty space there. And I didn't show you, but I added little watermelon seeds as well. But y'all, I forgot the little squiggly lines. And I did add them in this shot. <laughs> I did, went back and added them because at the front of the video, I said I noticed I hadn't put those on. So I put those on, took another picture, and this is how it looks on the front door. Still looks like weird paws with like a lot of toes, but I'm kind of digging it, if I'm going to be honest. Y'all, today's video is part of the Hello Summer Open Collaboration hosted by Tammy and Ellie. And y'all, I forgot to tell you at the front of the video. I'm the guest host this month. I was like so excited when they when they asked me to be the guest host. I was like, yes, yes, girl. 
So thank you again to Ellie from DIY From House to Home. Check out her channel. I'm going to have it linked below, of course, because I do want you to go and check her out. She's awesome and amazing. And then my um, other friend, Tammy from The Rest of Willow, because Ellie, Tammy, we're all friends. Anyways, Tammy from The Rest of Willow, she is also amazing. I really, really dig her furniture thrift flips. Um, they're amazing. So check out the links below as well as to the playlist. Now let's get back to the video. Okay, I'm taping off another wood around. And like I said, this is a double-sided sign so you can see the tape from the other side. And then I'm using the um, serum, serum coat, serum coat in the color watermelon. Because I'm making another watermelon, y'all. And all you do is just make this like little half moon shape or half circle shape. Is that a half moon? No, I don't know. Just make this shape right here that I'm doing. <laughs> and then... I am doing my little dark green, light green little edges to it. And you could do, you could do like white, middle, I mean, medium green, dark green. You can do it. You can do purple if you want to. I mean, who's going to stop you? <laughs> not me. I'm not the watermelon police. So in between the light green, I put the dark green and I just love, I love making watermelons this way. And I do tape off because I'm going to be painting and I, it, it kind of, I needed to like fill, there's a little bit of a space there. So I'm going to have to fix that as well. But press that down really hard. So now I'm going to use my favorite color yellow. It's that Waverly Chalk Paint in the color Maze. I've used it so much, I'm actually almost out of it. And that's one of the few paints that I've really gone through. I just think it's a really, really pretty color. You can't tell me otherwise because I, I know, I know my stuff. No, I'm just kidding. Feel free to comment below if you don't like that color. But... I do, and I'm using it, and it's for me, so there you go. Next, I'm taking some white chalk paint, that snow white color, and a little bit of the maize color, and I'm mixing them together to make a lighty color because I'm going to put polka dots. I do like to put polka dots on stuff, even though I really don't wear polka dots that much, but I do like polka dots on my stuff. I kind of like whimsical stuff, I guess, you know? Kind of illustrative kind of feel to it. I don't really know what my style is, but this is kind of my style. And then I'm taking the watermelon color, Ceram Coat, and I'm mixing it with some of the Snow White chalk paint, and I'm making some polka dots on the watermelon. And then I'm taking this little Hello Summer sign, which, y'all, after I look at it, I'm like, this should have been bigger. You know, it should have been more like, Hello Summer, and it's not, but it's okay. I mean, it, it all works out. And to kind of further define, because it seems like a little busy and a lot going on, I take a white paint pen and I just kind of run, um, draw some lines on the left side of the letters. And then I go back in and do the little squiggly lines around my watermelon because y'all know I love it. I just think it looks so cute. And I also use that white paint pen to add some detail to the sun rays. And this is how it turns out. <laughs> I probably should have put seeds in there, but anyway, it's cute like this. I like it, and I, I think it turned out cute. And it looks really great on my front. It, like, the colors pop so well. I really have a pretty front door, um, if I do say so myself. <laughs> the color is Sherwin-Williams Intense Teal, and I just love how it makes everything pop so much. Tell me what you think in the comments below. Which one was your favorite? Let me know in the comments below. And if you liked the video, give me a thumbs up. And if you didn't like the video, give me a thumbs down. I mean, either way, you know, <laughs> share what you're thinking. It's fine with me. Um, but I don't think I have a favorite from today's video, but I do like several different elements that I created today because I'm like, oh, that turned out really cute. Or I really like how that looks. Or I like those colors together, you know, that kind of thing. So um, that's my thoughts on that. And I'm going to leave um, a couple of videos over here. So that, is that where it's going to be? I'm trying to think, like when you're watching. Maybe I'll just stand in the center just in case. Because I was trying to put them on one side. That's going to be the right side though, right? Like when you're watching the video. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see. If it doesn't work, it, it, I'll put them on the other side. It doesn't matter. Really? Does it? No, it doesn't. But, okay. Um, thank you for joining me in my craft space today. I do appreciate the company. And um, I appreciate so much if you um, will subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And if you want to follow me in other places like here on YouTube or over on like TikTok or Instagram or Facebook or whatever. My handle is Our Gray House, but just don't follow me in real life though, because that's creepy. <laughs> Bye. What am I doing? What is this? Bye. Uh, Bye. <laughs>